guys? It's Brandon with Tokyo Toy Fiend. Today we have another box. Um, I, I sold my, uh, it's pretty funny, after I made my last video, uh, someone that I knew really wanted that sword, so I had to sell my trusty knife, or sword. Um, pretty awesome though, because I bought um, vinyl with it, the money that I got from it. So, cool, let's open up this box. Uh, Pretty awesome. 1974 Mecha Godzilla. Let's open this bad boy up and let's see how he looks. Nothing? Whatever. Anyway, here's Mechagodzilla 74. Let's take a closer look at him. Alright guys, well here he is, 1974 Mechagodzilla. Uh, first things first, he is one of the few figures on the X Plus line that is actually articulated. Both arms move. Pretty awesome. His legs move. Um, with mine in general, uh, his right leg for some reason is kind of wonky. So he's kind of loose. Um, and whenever I put him on the platform, uh, he doesn't quite sit flush on the uh, foot grooves. So I'll probably have to do the hair dryer trick and move out his leg a little bit. But um, be careful because whenever I first took him out of the box and I tried to move him, his leg nearly snapped all the way out of the socket. So just be careful and be mindful of that. Um, the plate on his, his chest plate opens up for the laser to shoot. And that, that's a super awesome feature. And his mouth opens and closes, and his head moves. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you really can count those two as points of articulation. So it's five real points of articulation, which is really cool for an X Plus figure, especially because you know these aren't meant to be played with. These are meant to you know as, as like to have as a collectible statue. So definitely cool. Uh, the paint scheme is is definitely awesome. Uh, around each bend, they darken the color, so it looks like it's actually creased. I mean, it is actually creased, but you know, like a metal crease. Um, each rivet on his body is, is uh, super high detail and looks, looks really good. Um, his eyes are translucent, so if the light hits it right, you can see through his eyes. And uh, yeah, he's just an awesome figure. All in all, I'm 100% satisfied with my purchase once again. X Plus has blown me away. So uh, let's get some good views of him. So yeah, um, another thing I noticed about him when I pulled him out of the box is, yeah, whenever you get a 30 centimeter figure, uh, you expect it to be big, but this dude just looks bigger than a lot of the, the figures. I know that the 54 and the Space Godzilla are the two biggest, but I do have the 54, I do not have Space Godzilla, and um, you see how they actually stack up with each other. So, yeah, I mean, with the platform, he's about, he's a little taller than 64 Godzilla. Without the platform, um, hey, still, you know, he's still about the same size. A little, you know, pretty good size, so, yeah. Alright guys, this has been my unboxing of Mechagodzilla 1974 Diamond Reissue. Um, please be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Nothing?